Boom. What is up, guys? My name is Logan Pierce. I play the drums. You probably already know that. Today, I'm going to be walking you through my two different gigging setups. I have two setups, one for a full band and then one uh, for when I play a more acoustic kind of setup. I play with um, a guitar player where he like loops his electric, sometimes brings on a bass player. So I have a more torn down setup for smaller venues, and then I have a full setup. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the kit, show you a couple really handy modifications. Um, and you know, if you want to copy me, uh, I would love you to like this. This is really the kit to like accomplish everything uh, as easy as possible. If you have any ideas for my kit to make it more convenient, I would love to hear them. I'm not sure you're going to have any more ideas because I've been gigging with this for a while and I can't, I can't come up with anything to make it more convenient other than maybe a smaller hi-hat. Um, that would be like very ideal to have because I have 14 inch hi-hats. It's not really necessary. Uh, I could go 13, even 12. Like they pretty much all sound very similar, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you my kit and I'll play it and I'll show you the second setup. I'll play it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So here it is again, in case you missed it, walking you through like all the parts. I have a Ludwig breakbeats kit. Uh, it's done me very well. I keep the kick drum bag inside of it as a little pillow. DW2000 single pedal. It's super light. It's, um, there, a lot of people complain about DW pedals um, when they talk about double double pedal technique and stuff like that. You know, I, I wear skate shoes, which are, I mean, supposed to at least grip onto, you know, skateboards. So I feel like a kick pedal. Um, it, the footboard is kind of similar to a grip tape on a skateboard. Um, whereas, like, how much kind of grip you get uh, just because it's metal. And, um, you know, you can do really any technique you want. Heel toe would probably work. I can't demonstrate, but slide technique works fine with pretty much any shoe or no shoe or boots. It doesn't matter. Uh, so that's a pretty good pedal. And then I have a little patch on it. Got a little pearl um, stand, a collapsible hi-hat stand, which I would love a collapsible um, kick pedal. And my pedal at my, on my Gate or er, my studio drum set is a double chain and Pearl makes a double chain collapsible pedal that I would love to upgrade to. So that is one thing that I've had an idea of um, upgrading to make this a little better. Another thing, upgrading these to quick release or I love these. These don't need any felts. They just spin right off um, and they have rubber on both sides. Those work really well. I've never had a keyhole from that. But yeah, so I run a customs, an 18 inch crash, uh, 20 inch ride, and 14 inch hi hats. My uh, in ears, it doesn't matter, those are sure 535s in case you're wondering. But um, come around to the front, the hardware that came with the Breakbeats kit, I took an old stand that, jeez, um, oh, what was wrong with it? I can't. Did it? I think it might have not had a matching bottom, and there was like very bad marks down here from where I, somebody had attached a stand to it. I got that used for free, um, so I just sawed it and then turned it into a boom stand. And when I'm not using it, I just it's a collapsible boom stand, so I just put it back into it like a straight stand and take this whole thing off because it would be hitting the kick drum and that's why you would have to saw this if you wanted to do the same thing that I was doing and then for my crash and my uh, other crash or sometimes I'll run a splash I will do this is a straight stand a pearl straight stand and then a Gibraltar cymbal arm that goes there and I'll normally put the splash there or above the rack tom just depending on what I'm miking I don't always mic toms and then in the kick drum obviously you're going to want a kick port if you're using a break beats kit um, unless you're not cutting a hole like if you're using it for jazz it sounded pretty good out of the box But for anything else you're probably going to want a kick port just to boost the volume a little bit And then I also take a rug and that bag and that cymbal bag and the rest of it fits in this box So I'm not going to break it down because then I have to set it back up to play it <laughs> but it all fits in this 75 gallon um husky box with the red handles that's how you can probably see it i got it at home depot um and it has wheels on it as well i got i think i paid 20 or 28 
eight bucks for it, something like that. And everything can fit in it except for the floor tom and the kick drum. The Sorry, the floor tom, kick drum, cymbal bag, and then my book bag. But since those are able to go on my back, they don't actually take up any hand space, um, then I can, you know, carry those with the, uh, while I drag this box. So that's one trip. And then my second trip will be my kick drum and my floor tom. Uh, even the rug, the snare, the high tom, all the hardware, all fits in there. My throne, I just use a really cheap... You want to, for gigging, you want to get the cheapest throne you can get. Not necessarily the cheapest top. It does hurt my back. I wish I had one of those uh, ones with a crack going through it. But I just cranked the memory lock like crazy. And this thing won't drop on me. Uh, it's been really good in that sense. So I've, and it's half the size of a normal throne. For some reason, uh, beginner thrones are way smaller. But they like still go up to a... A decent height so that is my normal setup and then just uh, for the sake of this video I don't change much for the smaller setup basically I would drop this Tom I would drop this Tom I would take the arm of this and either put a cowbell or I would bend it down so it's out of the way um, or a tambourine tambourine would probably be more um, appropriate I take this um, boom stand and I put it up to here and put a 18 inch crash on it as a ride symbol. And then I have the splash symbol that I keep up here as a ride or as a crash symbol. So I use a crash as a ride, splash as a crash on the same stand. Um, wait a minute. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> I, I completely get rid of this stand. Um, this will, would come from my hi hat stand. Um, and as well with my hi-hat stand, if you, if you, uh, look there, there's a little clamp and that clamp would hold that 10 inch pearl short fuse snare drum. And I would completely erase that snare drum. So I'll play you out. I'll give you a little, a little something to, uh, something to leave you with. And then, uh, actually I'm going to do the old one hand play out just so I can save myself the trouble of editing. Hold on, let me... Yeah, have a good one. Keep gigging.